how perhaps this might lead on to uh, different things, and maybe how, hopefully, it's changed uh, their ideas for the better as far as what uh, STEM careers might actually be like, as opposed to just, I like to play games, uh, which is fine, don't get me wrong. Uh, but uh, Mr. Tyler, uh, Tyler Kilgore, has compiled a bunch of different uh, kind of player generated uh, artwork up here. And so let's check out some characters people have made and then have the students talk about their games and then just kind of get into a free play mode where we can play their games and perhaps even offer some uh, some insider critique, if you will, or how come like this, or why not like that. And uh, I believe it is most likely that there are four students here who wish they could do something else on top of their game now. Yes? Yes? Bueller? I'm going to call a yes on that uh, as well. Uh, and so I think that type of feedback on how would you elaborate on this particular aspect or what would you change knowing what you know now would be a way to, uh, well, I mean, if we have a revisitation at the end of the summer, perhaps something else could have been done by then. If you guys don't know Tyler Kilgore by now, you're missing hey, out. Hey everybody, I'm Tyler. I, I was the, uh, the instructor for this series. Um, so the, the big things that uh, um, I got really excited about, uh, it, hey, what? Uh, the big things I got really excited about were um, getting the kids uh, into um, experience in sort of a, a deep dive into game creation. The, the, um, the two sites we, we went to was, uh, uh, we went to uh, Ypsilanti New Tech High School and we also went to uh, Wyma Washington International Middle Academy. Um, at Wyma, we focused on uh, 2D game design. Um, the, the, big, the big components we started with were character creation. Um, that's one of the things I'm kind of highlighting here. Um, each, each student um, took uh, the initiative to generate uh, characters um, using u using a pixel art generator, and then we brought them into the game. Uh, the top it's William Taft in a bat, because apparently that's how William Taft Taft uh, left this world was in a bat. Then. And then we got George Washington on the far left, just you know, for for classics. But, uh, I think that's I see, yeah, yeah. Maybe too much too much, too much hair for for her. Perhaps, yeah. perhaps, yeah. Um, then we got Sam. He's a little little trickier to see. Maybe I can. In the lights, but uh, this is sort of an underwater, underwater theme world. Um, uh, we'll we'll had a, a food food fight themed. Uh, he, he did really uh, really uh, dug into the character creation, the level creation. Did uh, some of the some of the best uh, uh, level design. Uh, uh. I I like I had researched game design, but it was my first time ever executing it. Okay. So I was worried, but. In the beginning, it was really easy, and mm -hmm. I was feeling really good about myself until we found out that we kind of had like the training wheels on. Sure. So um, then we kind of did it the hard way, and it <coughs> ultimately felt better when you know you did it for, like from scratch instead of um, standing on top of something someone else has already done. Yeah. So so to to Mike's point, we um, we started in a a pre-built. Um, template level um, to get kids. Uh, uh, we, we use it in our shorter workshops because there's just so much to do in a game that it's hard. It's hard to sort of scope and, and appropriately. Um, it, it's hard to get get going quickly in Unity um, without without somebody doing a little legwork beforehand. So we started in in, uh, in a pre-built template where they injected their own character art. And then um, we ran into some limitations uh, where the students wanted wanted a particular feature or wanted something that that um, sort of fell beyond the purview or the bounds of what the template could provide. And so I, I, I gave I posed the question to them. I said we could we could stay in this sort of uh, safer zone, or we can sort of trudge uh, trudge through the wilderness and forge our own path with um, uh, starting from scratch and just sort of uh, building things from the ground up and and. Uh, they they seem they seem uh, pretty receptive to the idea of, of getting the features they wanted, um, so they were they were happy to try try and uh, go on a little bit of a, a trek or journey with me. Adam, you, you kind of joined us halfway through, um, but you felt did you feel like you were able to, to catch on? Yeah. Um, what what do you think? What what was the, the the biggest challenge for you throughout the process? Well, just kind of try and make a game, just by making it. Well, not, I had the template, but making the game was probably the hardest part because I had to just come in and um, s 
start with everyone else, so it was pretty hard to like just start doing it. Yeah, absolutely. I think to your to your credit, um, yeah, joining halfway through is not 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 an easy task for for yeah. as much as we covered in the, the first session, especially since we were doing double time. I think you did it uh, when when you were there. You did, you did a great job of of um, getting in and asking questions, and I really really appreciated the, the effort that I, I saw. If we had another another session to do this, what, what um, would you dig into? I think I would have worked more on because. In the end, we I ended up making a whole a lot of animations, but a lot of them didn't go to good use because I would make them and then end up not using them. Okay. So probably better time management and also a little bit less goofing around. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys did have a ton of fun. taught us the basics like making levels then like a couple sessions later you know he just taught us real basic things like how to make the terrain what what it was how to do it and all of that and after that we started getting into deeper stuff but by the time we got into the deeper stuff it just it was just me and him mm -hmm. mostly him until i got done with track <laughs> so uh what was the general premise of the game so it was like when we started we had like a big group yeah, okay. yeah, like it Look, allowed me to just me and Dalen because the only reason I was in that game start was because I had track practice to go to and all of that after school. When I could come, I, I came and I was kind of lost in everything but like designing the level. Because when we first started for like the first two weeks, I kept like critiquing my level over and over and over again. Yeah, absolutely. So, See, for me, my story is quite literally that. My coordinator, who I quite love, Miss Liz over here, she she told me about Game Start, and when she told me about what it was about, I only saw that I wanted to be in that club because that club would be everything to me because I love game design quite a lot. When we got down to it for our last session, we had put together an idea for our game. He wanted to do a hard. It didn't matter to me whether it was an open explore game. I let Jalen decide what game he wanted to do. He wanted to do a horror game, so I just came up with like the map for it. Like I drew like a yeah. I don't know where it was. You, you sketched out this sort I drew out technical drawing for a drawing like level. map map placement and such. Yeah, yeah. So just banged it out real quick. It's like you're supposed, no, you're supposed to yeah, go absolutely. around and you're supposed to find keys. After you find the keys, you there are two more monsters that come in. That try to hunt, that try to hunt you down. So now it's four, but when you start, it's only two. You can hear them breathing the whole time, but they track you the entire time. And I gave it to them. They were like, "Wow, that's awesome!" I was like, "Yeah." Had everything mapped out. Everything. What, what do you What do you feel like was your biggest takeaway from from all the the whole project, everything you guys have been working on? Um, basically like building a friendship with him, because like we went through. So much we can sit here talk about it for two hours, but we're not gonna do that. <laughs> but we went through a lot of lot of dumb stuff at our school, mm -hmm. and people ended up leaving our club because of it. And like at the end of the day, it was just him, and I'm like, well, I'm not gonna leave him hanging because I want to be a game star too. <laughs> like I missed days of practice, had my coach mad at me, like where would you? I'd be like a game star, be like what 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 is game star? And I'm just like, it's this thing that's gonna this, help me better my this, life. It's just like I don't you know. And when I got, as soon as I got close to finish with track season, I came back for like the last two sessions and like we finally put it all together. Came up with the idea and all of that and like it worked out. And it was like really worth it knowing him as a person because like at first I didn't know he had these skills, but then last session, here you go. <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> Quite literally, he was just like done and I was like, dang, I could never do it that fast. Never this detailed either.